how beautiful you are, O Virgin of Christ, who are worthy to receive the Lord's crown, the crown of perpetual virginity. Let us pray. O God, you set Saint Rose of Lima on fire with your love, so that, secluded from the world, in the austerity of a life of penance, she might give herself to you alone. Grant, we pray, that through her intercession we may tread the paths of life on earth and drink of the stream of your delights in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The hand of the Lord was laid on me, and he carried me away by the Spirit of the Lord, and set me down in the middle of a valley, a valley full of bones. He made me walk up and down among them, there were vast quantities of these bones on the ground, the whole length of the valley, and they were quite dried up. He said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? I said, You know, Lord. He said, Prophesy over these bones. Say, Dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. The Lord says this to the bones, I am now going to make the breath into you, and you will live. I shall put sinews on you, I shall make flesh grow on you, I shall cover you with skin and give you breath, and you will live, and you will learn that I am the Lord. I prophesied as I had been ordered. While I was prophesying, there was a noise, a sound of clattering, and the bones joined together. I looked and saw that they were covered with sinews. Flesh was growing on them and skin was covering them, but there was no breath in them. He said to me, Prophesy to the breath. Prophesy, son of man. Say to the breath. The Lord says this, Come from the four winds, breath. Breathe on these dead. Let them live. I prophesied as he had ordered me, and the breath entered them. They came to life again and stood up on their feet, a great and immense army. Then he said, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They keep saying, our bones are dried up, our hope is gone, we are as good as dead. So prophesy, say to them, the Lord says this, I am now going to open your graves. I mean to raise you from your graves, my people, and lead you back to the soil of Israel. And you will know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and raise you from your graves, my people. And I shall put my spirit in you and you will live and I shall resettle you on your own soil. And you will know that I, the Lord, have said and done this. It is the Lord who speaks. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord, his love is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord, his love is everlasting. Let them say this the Lord's redeemed, and he redeemed the hand of the foe, and gathered from far off lands. From east and west, north and south. Give thanks to the Lord. His love is everlasting. Some wandered in the desert, in the wilderness. Finding no way to the city they could dwell in. Hungry they were and thirsty. Their soul was fainting within them. Give thanks to the Lord. 
His love is everlasting. And they cried to the Lord in their need, and he rescued them from their distress, and he led them along the right way to reach a city they could dwell in. Give thanks to the Lord, his love is everlasting. Let them thank the Lord for his love, for the one as he does for men. For he satisfies the thirsty soul, he fills the hungry wicked things. Give thanks to the Lord, for his love is everlasting. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Teach me your paths, my God, and lead me in your truth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they got together and to disconcert him, one of them put a question. Master, which is the greatest commandment of the law? Jesus said, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second resembles it. You must love your neighbour as yourself. On these two commandments hang the whole law, and the prophets also. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, as we now make our prayer for our community and for the world, let us all pray to Christ the Lord, not only for ourselves and our own needs, but for the entire people. For the whole Christian people, let us beseech the abundance of divine goodness. Christ graciously hear us. For those who hold public office, let us call upon the power of the Lord. Christ graciously hear us. For the repose of the souls of the faithful departed, let us call upon the judge of all humanity. Christ graciously hear us. For all of us who pray in faith and ask the mercy of the Lord, let us entreat the compassion of our Saviour. Christ graciously hear us. Incline your merciful ear to our prayers, we ask, O Lord, and listen in kindness to the supplications of those who call on you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful God bless and protect us the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.